Worldwide, around 30 million people suffer from a chronic inflammatory bowel disease, in short, IBD. Let's take a closer look at the nature of IBD. IBD is a group of inflammatory conditions of the colon and small intestine. Depending on the disease type, different parts of the intestines are affected by chronically reoccurring events of inflammation. My name is Maximilian Waldner from the University Hospital in Erlangen. In our department, we treat a lot of patients with inflammatory bowel diseases. Therefore, we need effective methods to evaluate the response to therapy and disease activity in IBD patients. This is something that's usually done with colonoscopy as a current gold standard. However, there are certain problems with colonoscopy. First of all, it's an invasive procedure and it requires bowel preparation as well as sedation. Another problem is that we have the risk for complications such as bleeding, colon perforation or also adverse reactions to sedation. We started using multispectral optoacoustic tomography in 2016. Without the need for contrast agents, the inflammatory activity can be assessed by using MSOT, which illuminates the bowel wall with short laser light pulses. Chromophores in the tissue absorb the light, leading to a transient temperature rise, a thermoelastic expansion, and eventually the generation of acoustic signals. The ultrasound signals propagate through the tissue and are captured by a curved detector. Using advanced algorithms, ultrasound signals are reconstructed to form images, representing the absorption of light inside the bowel wall. MSOT allows the quantification of the blood concentration inside the colon wall. Blood concentrations in general serve as imaging biomarkers for inflammation. In intestinal inflammation, the inflamed colon wall shows a thickening and also higher blood concentrations. Our results have been published in 2017 in the New England Journal of Medicine. MSOT has shown great potential in an initial clinical trial. Upcoming larger scale trials will show whether this imaging technology can improve the standard of care in IBD diagnosis and treatment monitoring.